Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here today going to make a new cover for the journal that I'm going to work on next, and um, I'm going to make it out of one of these prime envelopes. I had a request to show how I did that, so we're going to do that today. Let me say hi and hugs to... Um, a vow on Acres Farm, <laughs> Sherry, Jesse, and Lori. I'm sorry if it's not a vow, but um, a vow on Acres Farm. I can't read my own writing is what's happening here. <laughs> okay, well, let's get started. First thing I did was peel off as much as a sticker as I could get. Not, I didn't get it all, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take a baby wipe. And I'm going to put this video under my tutorials and under my um, journal cover series. Just, um, yeah, this one wasn't as clean as usually I try and keep the ones that are super clean. But um, this one, not so much. But it's okay. We're getting it. Okay, so now I'm actually going to take a baby wipe and clean off my mat because I don't want it to get on the fabric at all. Okay, oh, there's a little bit of distress ink on my mat. Go figure. Okay, let that dry a little bit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to prepare this. So I'm going to use this edge as my spine. And so I need to cut it about nine inches. Let me just grab a pen and I'm just going to mark. No, 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 no. Six inches this way. If this is if this is my spine over here, I want to go six inches. So give that just a little mark. And then on our spine, we want to go nine inches. And so let me use my ruler since all my measurements at the bottom. Let's see. So yeah, we want to go up nine inches this way. And you can make them whatever size you want. I just like nine by six journals. Um, mostly because then they um, fit an eight and a half by 11 uh, piece of paper just perfectly, you know. Okay, I'm going to grab. I don't think I need my wet ones anymore. I'm going to grab my big old cutter from behind me here because we want to make sure that it cuts nicely. Okay, so I'm going to go this way first. And the reason I am is because this piece is going to be bigger than this piece. And I make tags out of the leftovers. So I want as big as I can get. There we go. I'm going to come back. Okay, it's pretty good. Just need to chop off this little bit right here. Um, it's very satisfying to hear the pop, pop, pop of the, of the bubble wrap on the inside. So then I've got this whole piece that can be tags. And so that will be good. Okay, and then we're just going to cut off this bit like so so then there's that and that can be a couple little tags so those are that's what's left okay all right so then we've got we've got this now we just have to cut this with our scissors
my little ones to get into that corner. There we go. Just going to clean this up a little bit on the edge. Okay. So there we have it. Nine by six inch cover. I'm feeling like it's not as straight as I want it on this edge. So I'm just going to go back in with my scissors. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Still very smoky here. <laughs> We haven't started the rain yet that we're supposed to get. Okay, that's better. Nine by six. So when you open it out, it's nine by 12, right? So that's what we're gonna be working with with our fabric. So let's grab our fabric. Um, this is gonna be my outside. This is Kathy Holden fabric. Love, love, love it. And see, this is just barely bigger. Um, the way I ordered it, it came in this width, which is just over nine inches, barely. <laughs> so, I yeah, I kind of barely made it, but it's, it's all good. Okay, so I'm going to cut this. This way, it's good. We just have to worry about the cut this way. And so I think I am going to cut on this side of this white line because it's just over 12 and a half. Okay, so it's this one, right? Let's just double check. Yep. Just give a little bit of leeway, you know. Sorry, guys. I'm the worst at cutting fabric. I mean, I've sewn for years, but cutting fabric is just not my forte. And I don't want to rip this because I don't want it to be fray-y. I'm just going to go with a straight cut. And I'm just being super careful, which is not like me, but I am for this moment. Okay, so this is a lovely off cut. Okay, so there's the front. Now, this is going to be the inside cover. Are these awesome, these awesome plates. Also Kathy Holden fabric. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, I love it. And so on this one, I can just lay my fabric on top and I'll just cut along this spot. Okay, this is my off cut of the inside. Alrighty then. Now, if there's anything you want to do as far as sewing something on the front or sewing something on the inside, you need to do it now, which I am thinking I might like some lace on the bottom. I don't know, I hope I have some thick lace here somewhere. Um, oh, you know where? I might, let's look in here. I thought I did. Yeah, I have I have this. Mm, not quite thick enough. Let me just look down below here. This is thicker. This is thicker. Okay, I think I like this one. Um, because um, you need to you need to sew 
anything on the front before you put it all together or else you're going to have the sew lines on the other side if that makes sense so to make these just i'm just going to run them along the bottom to make that a pocket Okay, just going to have that go along the bottom as a pocket. Yeah, I think I'm going to move it up a little bit. Just, yeah. Okay, so now, because I want that on the inside, I'm going to sew it on now, not later. Okay, my sewing machine here. Now I realize you're not going to see a lot of this, but I, I told the person that requested I would do the full, full thing on camera. So that's a, what I'm going to do. Oh, I don't want that to be... I'm just going to straight stitch this on. And... You could put a few dots of glue. I have pretty good luck with just holding it, so that's how I'm gonna that's how I'm gonna go here. Okay, so we're just going to I'm back stitching that so that um, I'm back stitching it so that that is that's going to be a point of tension so that's what we want to do okay then we're just gonna make sure this is straight Continuing straight. And continuing straight. Okay, then we'll go up the side. Back stitch again, and we're good. Okay, so now we have our little pocket. I'm not going to worry about stitching it in the middle because it will be sewn in the signature anyway. But you could if you're worried about your pockets being floppy or something. But it'll be stitched in, you know, along about right here somewhere. And then everything's going to fold. And so it will stay put pretty well. Okay, so now we're going to slide this over for a moment. And we're going to get going. So the front of our cover is going to have this. So our, this is the front of our cover. It's going to have this on there. But I am going, going to um, Fabri-Tac glue that. So if I was going to stitch it, now would be the time to do it. But it's got slow stitch all around it. And I do kind of like gluing my slow stitch on because I can put glue over some of the knots and just make sure <laughs> that it's going to stay, you know. So, okay. But let us, let us put this together. So first thing we're going to do is the outside. Um, I am going to grab my Fabri-Tac. And I'm going to be careful not to go around the edges. 
I don't want to get too close to the edges. I'm just going to go in the middle here like this with my fabric tack. Okay. And then I like to put the fabric down like so and then turn my envelope over so I can see that I've got it placed just as I'd like it to be placed. Okay, so we did that. I'm just going to turn it over and smooth it a bit more here. Okay. And my little stripes are reasonably up and up and down. <laughs> so now we're going to do the same on this side. And, um, you know, being careful if you've got a directional, a directional, you, you want to make sure you're going in the right direction. Now we're going to put this on like this. Okay. So once again, I'm just... I'm just going to go in the middle, being careful not to get too close to the edge, only because I don't want to sew through it, through the fabric tack, right? Because that'll goober up your sewing machine quick as can be. Okay. So again, I'm going to, I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to put my piece of fabric down pocket side down and I am going to match up the fabric as closely as I can on the sides it's not a huge deal if you're off a little bit because we can trim it up after we sew it now I am off there let me let me do that a little bit better on this side there we go that's better I think I think it's better yeah that's pretty good okay so now we've got both glued on right now I'm going to take my sewing machine again and what we're going to do is sew around the edges I like to start at the back edge I don't know it just makes me feel good to start there rather than um, like on the front or something now what I do is I just check to see where is my envelope um, and I try to, I'm going to do zigzag. Did I say that? And then I like to keep the edge of my envelope, not the fabric, but my envelope on the right side of the foot. So my foot is here. I like the edge of my fabric to be here or the edge of the envelope, sorry. And the fabric is hanging over a little, but you'll see what we do with that in a minute. Okay, so we are gonna start off with our zigzag. I am gonna backstitch. Okay, and then I've, I'm kind of feeling, I don't even know if you can see that. With my fingers, I'm feeling the side of the envelope. So let's do that. And I'm just keeping, keeping the zigzag right on the edge of the envelope. Time and adjust as you need to. Okay, so we're right there is the end. 
Now, when I get to the corner, I want to stop on the corner with my needle on the left side. So your zigzag goes back and forth like this, right? When you get to a corner, stop on the left and pick up your presser foot and turn your fabric. Okay, so I'm right on the edge of my envelope again. I'm just feeling with my fingers to make sure I'm on the edge of my envelope. Okay. Now, if you go off, it's not the end of the world, like if you go off that way or the other way. So, you know, just as much as possible, I stay on the edge of the envelope. Getting a little bubble in my fabric, so I'm trying to smooth that down as we go. I don't know if I'm being very successful, but... Okay, I'm getting to the end again, so I want to know where my end is so I can end on the left again. Okay, and then we're twisting again. Okay, so edge of envelope. I think we're doing good so far. So far, so good. Famous last words, right? Okay, where's the envelope? To be honest, I like a little more width this way, but this is how the fabric was cut. So I'm making it work, but it doesn't hang over quite as much as I'd like it to. Okay, so we're right there. Okay, should be good there. Okay, and now we're on the home stretch. smoothing this down because I don't have much wiggle room on this on the sand okay now we're getting right to the end so we're gonna back stitch at the end okay there we go so we've got it, we've got it done. I'm just gonna get a little snip there. So we're really, we're done with our sewing machine. So I'm gonna get mine out of the way here. All right. So I can clip some strings here. So by starting, um, at your at your uh, at your back cover by starting at your back cover all of your back stitching is on this back corner here and then your front is just clean so the next thing I would do is is trim off any excess like you can see the back Ooh, that's real close to the stitching but I think we can get it just snip that off so that it's so that it's pretty even. Now another way to do this is to wrap your front around uh, around the edge and I, I realize that this is just how I'm doing this. I want the rough edges. I like the look of them. It's personal preference. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Once again, I'm just going to snip off a couple threads here. Okay. So my fabrics are pretty even, Stephen. We've got a little something going on here. So I'm just going to cut that. to fit that side. Got a little right here. Okay, just trimmed up. We've just gotten it trimmed up. Okay, so now talk amongst yourselves for just a quick second. I'm going to get a piece of wax paper and I'll be right back. Okay, how was your talk? <laughs> Okay, so um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to go around the edges with my Fabri-Tac and um, do this for two reasons. First of all, I, I want this, um, this to be together. I don't want it two separate pieces of fabric like that. And... Um, the second thing that this does is it keeps it from fraying too much. I don't mind a little fraying that actually to me, and that's just cause I, I kind of like grungy, you know, it, it's just fine, but I don't want it to completely unravel. So I'm, I'm going to the edge as much as possible going also down towards the stitching but I'm keeping definitely a good bead on the edge and then I just come back and smooth it and you get super gluey <laughs> disclaimer you're gonna be gluey okay let me move this um All right, so there's that one. And we'll do the last edge. I do appreciate Fabri-Tac. It is, it is great glue. Okay. All right, so that can sit and get itself kind of glued down. Let's see, where is our pockets? They're right there. Um, I think I'm okay to actually, what I might do is turn this over a little bit. Okay, so next what I want to do is I want to glue this on here. So we are just going to let that dry a little bit more and we're just going to fabric tack this all up. <laughs> See, there's some little knots. I'm just going to go right over the top of edge stitching here and it's just insurance that it's not going anywhere and then I'm just gonna go up on the stitching here and do some there and there and there and then I'll put a little here Okay, just enough to get it all so that it can go on the front here. Now, I think 
I want this more up than down. Like so. And that's straight there. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it over just a little because if I wanna put lace on the, on the spine, I wanna have that option. So you might be able to tell that my next journal is my rose journal. Um, it's the beautiful papers from Joey Cardmaker. Super excited to do this journal. So that's that's my cover out of Amazon, an Amazon envelope, and you know it's a wonderful crunch. So there we go. And I can just toss that aside. And we're just going to let that dry. And I'm just going to work on the signature while that dries. But there's the full tutorial on making a cover with an Amazon envelope. So I hope that helps to, to the gal who asked about it. Okay. I need a baby wipe before I do anything. Oh my goodness, that fabric tag it does get all over you, doesn't it? Yeah. So, um, cause I've got strings and everything stuck to my finger. So I'm gonna be sticking to everything if I don't give myself a good scrub here. So, yeah. Oh, that feels so good to have that done. I'm so excited because I wanted to get this journal in before I start on fall, and I'm real excited to start on fall. <laughs> so, yeah. Goodness. Well, we'll see how that does. I don't know. Um, I'm sure I'll be, it'll be bugging me and, and all, but... Let's get our papers out. Okay. So first of all, I'll just remind you how gorgeous this kit is. It's so gorgeous. Look at that. And then there's writing pages. And then there's just these gorgeous, gorgeous roses. I love it so much. Joey Cardmaker, I'll put his link below, really all these videos that I use his kit for. So, so what I'm thinking is I think I want this on, um, I think I want this as the first page of the signature because doesn't that look pretty? And this is going to be a sh sort of shabby, cheeky, lots of lace kind of a journal. So yeah. Lots of, lots of feminine, and you'll see that my papers went in crazy. So what I'll do for that, and you know, I know this isn't everyone's taste, but when I did the second side, it just went, um, just went cattywampus going in the printer. So I'm just going to give that a little a little extra ink more than one would usually and then I'll just go down the side too cuz that's that's a little wacky too and then just a little on the bottom and other side so all of these are going to need this, but I'll do it off camera. I just kind of wanted to show you if that happens to you and it goes sideways. <laughs> you know, when things go sideways, if it goes sideways, you can just cover it up with ink. It works out. So I, this is going to be the outside one. Okay. So then on these, I kind of was thinking I would kind of go every other one of the, like the ones that you can write on and then the ones that are more decorated. 
So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sew this in till I get all of the stuff. Now, granted, a pocket might cover that up, but I'm not gonna take the chance. And we can also um, we definitely could um, d do the inking afterwards too. I don't have to do it just right now. I'm looking. This one has has some words, so I need it to be the right way up. So I'm going to do this one and then this one. So then I need another one to write on. So we'll go writing, decorated, then we'll do another writing, which let's do this color. These are really cool too. I don't know if you can see very well on camera, but he's got like old tape, like there's old tape on it. It's so cool. Such a beautiful kit, Joey. I've been just itching to play with it. Oh gosh, makes it hard to decide. Let's see, I did kind of pinky pink there. So I think I'll do this one. right side up yep okay do that and then let's do this yellow one yeah it's annoying when that happens on the printer but it does it just it just does oh so I think maybe that one will be, or this one, be the one in the middle. I kind of want this one in the middle. So let's do this one. And this one. Just kind of get our signature figured out. And then this one is going to go this way and be the middle of the signature. Okay. <laughs> There's little bits of glue here and there from my fingers. Okay, and then our other papers that I pulled out. Well, I pulled out a sack and a doily. I think I want to put um, an envelope in the signature. There's this crunchy paper um, that came from Evelyn. And this is from Rhonda without an H on Etsy. I think this was this was either three insistent dogs or triple V vintage. I'm not quite sure. This one came from Val's Heartfelt Paper. And it's coffee dyed paper that she has um, stenciled acrylic paint through. It's awesome. And it has roses. So that's what we're going to do with that. And then these couple of pieces of avocado, avocado dyed paper, which I'm not sure where those came from. If you're looking for some, you just need to... Search on Etsy for avocado dyed paper and the sellers will come up. So we've got those. We've got this. We've got this and we've got this. And then the other thing I want to look at is my... I've got my little bin of pages that we can see if anything goes with that we I do like this I'm not sure no it's just kind of a different a bit of a different feel to it I do think I might like some old book page though this is this is Italian book page I could put one of those in there and let's look through these and see. This actually, look at how pretty that looks with that. 
think I might need to put that in there. Okay, no to this. Do any of these. The ruffles. No, I don't think so. I actually have some fabric that I might put ruffles on like the avocado dyed papers or something. Might do that. Totally just thinking through this as I go. I mean, those could maybe work too. Mm. No, I'm not feeling it. This one though, Right away, I was like, ooh, that looks really nice with that. So, no to that one. Oh, these are the little tabby things. If we don't find any that we like, I do. There's one with roses. That's a good one. This one has roses too. This is a pocket. I like that. Okay. Just make sure there isn't any that I like better. Let's see. Where's my other one like that? Yeah, these are the same, only just on different pages. Okay. Oof, what a mess. <laughs> Cut myself in quite the mess. Okay. So, all right, so I like to have about 15 pages in a one signature, and I think this is going to be way more than that. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we only really have them for six-ish. But I really like that. I definitely want that. Hmm. Maybe we'll not use this one. I'm gonna end up with a few more pages, I think, than, <laughs> than usual, but that's okay. We make the rules, don't we? Okay, so. I think I'd like that right after that one. Um, then let's do kind of want to do a pink one, but I don't like that that's not pink. Can we switch those? Not really. Oh, well, it's okay. Pink. Let's do this one. And then this one. Ooh, but this one would be kind of cool on there. No? Actually, I was thinking that would be cool there. So I think I'm going to put that there. Then I'll put this one here. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna put that one, this one here. And this one here. Um I almost feel like I need another big one. So I'm gonna grab that again. This one with the tab and put it here. This is just gonna be chunky from the get-go. And this, you put that on there so that Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll put that in there like that. 
So we just have to remember that. Okay, so we have this and this still to go in the signature. Okay, I definitely want this on the avocado guide. I'll put that there. That's not going to add too much bulk to the the book um, and this one do I want it to go in or do I want it to be maybe I'll make it a flip out you know put it on a page like that and have it flip out I think I'll do that okay so that's going to go in its um little bucket, you know. It's just really cool paper. So she says to herself, self, maybe I won't decorate this as heavily as I normally do. But I probably will. Okay, I'm going to grab the fabric I was thinking of for ruffles and see if it even goes with this. Let me see. You know, quilter, quilter bits. Yeah, the colors don't really go. So, that's okay. Oh, gosh. Got a couple here. Yeah, nope not going to do that so that's helpful because I really wanted to do let me show you well our covers dry and I think we think we have a winner on the cover I was I wanted to put one of these in this journal which it's um it's a lace page and you know there's a pocket here there's a pocket here over on this side, we've got a pocket here. And this is the, the pocket from this side or this side, whichever way you want it to go. And then on the back, it's got a little pocket. Actually, this is a pocket too. I need to stitch this because the, the um, crochet is coming apart right there. But anyway, I was going to do a video on how to make this lace page, and I wanted to put that in there. But if I put that in there, oh my goodness, it's going to be a fat journal. I mean, that's fat without even having anything decorating it. Maybe I can figure out a way to make this thinner. Like, if I didn't use such big, such bulky doilies, it might be okay. Because I really want to make another one of these. So, that'll be... I don't know when that will happen, but that will be one coming up. <laughs> Let's just say. Okay, and this I wanted to have here somewhere. So what I need to do is do the um, distressing where it didn't print properly. And so that's kind of the next step for that. Let's see. So how much time do we have? We have about 10 minutes. So the ephemera that comes with I kind of just want to take a look and re-familiarize myself it's been a while since I fussy cut it um, big tags banners and tabs pockets I love these pockets these are really cool with the edge envelopes little bits smaller tags tag backs 
journaling cards. Okay. What's this? Oh, these are um, journal cards too with a planar front. Okay. Well, I'm already seeing something that I might like to play with a little bit for the next 10 minutes. Wondering about... Look how pretty that is. Okay. I just um, printed these on my 28-pound map photo paper from Red River Paper Company online. And so I need to back this. Um, with something that is thicker. Something thick. Ooh, that's pretty thick. Just kind of take a look, see. Yeah, I think I'll do that. We'll just make a little quick piece. I think while we're for our hour to get going, um, we're gonna need to, to hit the hit the ephemera bins to see what we have that will go with this journal and pick out ephemera. see tomorrow is a full video we have time I wonder if we could do one of those lakes I'm, I'm if I have time to pull out lace possibilities I'll try and prep that for tomorrow and see how we do uh, stuff flying on the floor okay so oh yeah that's a nice thickness now nice okay This way, there's a little piece of the tape right there. Okay, let's do some. Really, these um, this digital's already it's already inked. Just add a little to it, and we'll do the back. Yeah, I just really wanted to do this rose journal before I jumped into fall. <laughs> um, and I want September to be fall, but boy, oh boy, I'm telling you, my September has just filled right up with going to my daughter's to take care of the babies and stuff for a week. But... I'll just get done what I can. That's about all a person can do, right? I'm doing real good on my filming this week, so I'm hoping to get a bit ahead so that I can start working on being ahead for my for my my trip there to take care of the babies. Okay, I was thinking it's got some lovely words here. What else do we have? Stamps. What's this? Oh, little bitty tabs. Oh, and what are these? And labels. Fun. Bella Rosa, that's the name of the kit. Maybe we'll just, oh, I probably should use something that's gonna not blend into the background. Let's use kind. <laughs> Always 
up for that. He's like, I think if I put that like that, that would be cute. Okay. I don't think really needs anything else. That's what I'm just going to put that right there. And we have ourselves our first oh, except I think I'm going to put it over here cuz I don't I like that tape and I don't want to cover it up. <laughs> okay. Got ourselves a little little journaling card there. That's perfect. Okay. Well, I think I will end it here. I hope that the the cover was helpful to you. Once again, I will show what we did. There's the inside, so we'll have little pockets. And there's there's the slow stitched focal point and this beautiful Kathy Holden fabric. And it says on here, it says handmade, handmade, handmade. So that's fun too. Okay, everyone. Have a grateful day, and we will just see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.